Morning guys, topic for this morning, commenting code out. Now, why would you comment code out? Like, let's say you're refactoring a program and you perhaps uh, didn't want uh, seven and you didn't want four and five, like set of functions or something like that. And then you, and then you, um, and, and then you run the program and it still works, passes the test, Yay, you've, you've done less code, you suck less. Awesome. But if it doesn't work, I find that um, I don't know how to get this, say, 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 say I needed like seven back or something like that. How do I uh, just get that back? So what I end up having to do is instead commenting. Actually, I've got undo history here so I can... So I can do it that way. So I ended up basically um, say commenting out code and then and then checking if it all works. And if it all works, then I just end up deleting. Refactoring my code the suckless way. So let me show you how I have set up my editor. There's I'm going to show you the, the couple of ways you can do it. You can use it without plugins and use the visual block mode, which is a bit horrible because you have to like go shift V, you know, control V to enter visual block, and then shift I, add your prefix. And then this is the worst part. This, you see, it takes like a second or more for the, the prefix to be in there. Um, yeah, this visual block mode is not great. And then also it's a similar palaver for uh, removing that prefix. I think, how did I do it? Control V and then X, uh, and then move to the, the first column and then X. Uh, not nice. But luckily um, Vim has a spiritual leader, Pope Tim. Um, he's great actually. He's got many plugins. He he invented the first pl plugin system called um, uh, Pathogen, which you don't need anymore with Vim8. But he also has a little known um, repo called Vim Commentary, which makes life easier. So nowadays with Vim8, I think it's Vim8, was it Vim? Yeah. You just clone in the, the plugin that you, you want. And you have to manually keep it up to date, I guess, by going in there and going to Gitpull. But uh, I, I like uh, Vim Commentary. It's not not huge. I don't like to use lots of plugins. I've seen a lot of Vim configs where they have like hundreds of plugins. I, that scares me. Uh, I like to keep things simple. So yeah, it's just a hundred lines. And then when you're editing uh, um, code, it's pretty simple. It recognizes a whole bunch of different formats. This is this is YAML. So instead of that whole visual block thing, I just do a visual selection. GC comment it out. Isn't that awesome? Visual selection GC. I think it also does GCAP. So it does it in paragraphs. So Vim commentaries to, to comment out code. If you know better with the whole uh, restoring a part of a, a git diff thing, uh, let me know. But that's my tip for Vim. I hope you found it useful. Please like, please subscribe. And yeah, Tell me if I if I can do any better. Bye guys.